afternoon. I am wearing the same jumper as yesterday. Don't judge me. I am in a good mood because I'm now up to date with editing. Hi. <laughs> it's nearly three o'clock. And all I've done today is edit, 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 nipped out for some errands, errands, come back, ate some food, edit, edit. Way, um, they're uploaded as well. What is this madness? Who are you? You must be the Daisy Fried Egg jumper. I live in this jumper. You're gonna see it a lot, every day, in fact. Um, I don't know why I love it, cause daisies are my favourite flower. But um, as Kirsty rightly pointed out, and to be fair, sometimes. I think they're fried eggs too. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you think that? I love it. It's so thick. Like, if you know, you know. You know? Hi. I did sneeze earlier. I have had a bit of a cough today. But... But no way near what I've been like over the last couple of weeks. Um, I really need to clean the kitchen. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the absolute horror that lies within. <laughs> um, <laughs> my partner came back very briefly, made me a roast dinner and was like, hey, I haven't been for ages. Have a roast dinner. And then at the roast dinner, he's left me with the mess. It's fine. I told him to leave me with the mess. Now it's gone again for a few days. <laughs> yay! That was a sarcastic yay. Woo! Um, so, where are we at, people? I finished my sock. I need to show you my finished sock. and We'll do that later on. Um, I'm working quite a bit on my cow. Oh, I need to show you my new coasters. I bought some new coasters. For extortionate amount of money, but they're ceramic, so I kind of love them. Um, they were from the Christmas range, but I'm hoping they're not like mega Christmassy. Cause the thing, the thing is, right? We've got two coasters, but we could kind of do with four. Um, and oh, actually, I can move a couple upstairs, can't I? Um, but really, ideally, we need four in in this room. Um, so now I've got six. Uh, and they're, they're all different. They've all got like a different pattern. Like there's another one with like a red star that kind of looks like, um, a potato. That's why I like them. They look like potato stamps. They've got that kind of organic look. Um, <laughs> that pun thoroughly intended then. Um, they've got that kind of haphazard, rustic look, um, which I kind of like. Uh, but yeah, we needed some coasters. And last, not last week, a few weeks ago, I saw some penguin coasters that I really liked. And it would have been ideal. And there was four, but there was four in a packet, and they, but it also came with um, dinner placemats, which... We don't need, because we don't have a dining table or anything. So they would have been completely redundant items in tiny house in tiny house you can only have things that are useful i mean don't use that against me um <laughs> like it just seemed pointless it seemed like a waste of money knowing that i'm only going to use the small half of that box but then today i found these um habitat which i believe is fancy I think it is. If you can get a science breeze, that ain't fancy, is it? So, I don't know why I keep showing you the same one. So now I've got one beside me. Oh, this is the same but in blue. See, that's not mega Christmassy, is it? It's got like a little yellow, so from the side it'll look yellow. Um, but I just thought... Because we have a coffee table, but sometimes the coffee table's too far away. 
Don't judge. And this will be right here, so I can be like, tea here. Or sometimes I have my laptop on my coffee table and there's no room for the mug of tea. Up here, lads. Up here. Jobs are good and I've had my daily juice. Orange juice with bits, because I'm a heathen. I'm ready for a nap. Someone is texting me, and it's most inappropriate, because apparently I'm sat on my phone, and I didn't realise. So today is chill. I'll probably be up early tomorrow, so maybe I'll do close tomorrow. Kitchen today, she kitchen today. So I'm gonna put on I'm really, really behind on Rex Factor. So behind that they announced on their Instagram they've got a game. A Rex Factor game. Like I need to play this and also I need to listen to some Tuesday talks. So I'm obviously really behind. But I haven't listened to the Great Fire of London episode yet. I've just been too engrossed in the American presidents and each episode's an hour and a half and there's two episodes per president. So I've just been like binging that and then when I need a break from that I tend to go for Neil Oliver because his voice is just wonderfully soothing. So I think I think we're gonna need some Rex Factor. Rex Factor Although I'm pretty sure that a while ago I started listening to it from the beginning. I think I was having a break and going to listen to it from the beginning again because there's definitely a point where I was so deep into the binge that I don't remember certain um, monarchs very well. And as we're now going back through the story again, but with the consorts, so the wives and husbands, essentially, of the, of the monarchs, um, I'm listening to it again like, in that sense, but I'm also thinking, I don't remember much about that one. I don't remember much about that one. So I really need to, like, get back into it. Anyway, that's ten minutes of waffle. You need no more. There's enough of me waffling on the internet by now. So, cup of tea, defos. And then clean the kitchen. I was just don't want to get up. You know, I'm sat comfy on the sofa... Thick dressing gown over my legs. And um, if you you know, don't really want to clean the kitchen, really, if the, that's my options. Can you blame me? Ten to nine. This is what I've done with my day. Well done me. I've also eaten a mega ton of food. And I've also developed an, a new quirk where I scratch my scalp until it bleeds. And uh, it's itchy because it's healing. So I scratch it some more. Who knew how fun that would be? Um, I need to stop doing that. How are we liking the sock? Stitch marker um, was purchased a few years ago. It might have even been from a, from a stitch marker club, I can't remember. But it's from the corner of Croft. Go on, Hannah. And um, the yarn that I'm knitting with is from Green Lampkin, Suzanne, hashtag not spawn. I know I'm knitting solely with her yarn at the moment, really, aren't I? I see that in, in ball form, this is what it looks like. It's sparkly, it's magical, it's black, it's white, 
green, it's purple, it's orange. What more could you want? Oh, day glow yellow. Oh, the colourway is called glow spook, glow spook as well. Um, I've knit quite a bit actually. I was going to do a pattern. I was going to do a, the I Love You More Than Pumpkin Spice Socks, but that's quite cable And I started knitting it and thought, hmm, that's a bit busy. I think it's just going to be a simple vanilla sock. You know, there's no contrast heel toes cuff situation. It's literally a vanilla sock. I don't really use up a lot of, lot of the yarn then. Um, so that's that. I've got a candle burning. I think I might go up to Belly Boys. I've listened to quite a bit of Totalis Rankium President's series. Presidents of America, I should say, um, series. And I'm about to listen to Grim Reading, which I do tend to... I don't listen to it, like, every night before I go to bed, but if it's this sort of time of day, I'm more than likely to put it on because it it's quite soothing. You can hear the crackle of a fire in the background and it's just nice. It, if um, uh, you don't know, which is probably most of you to be fair, um, Grimm Reading is going through all of the Grimm's Brothers fairy tales. So you just get to listen to a ridiculous fairy tale where ridiculous things happen, like a girl who can hear flies cough. And it's just wonderful and magical and a bit daft, um, which is what we need before we go to bed, really, isn't it? And I think we should end the day with a countdown to Halloween. Stay there and think about it. Oh God, trip over my own feet. Yes, I'm using a dressing gown as a blanket, but it's very thick. <laughs> and yes, I have been underneath it for the entirety of the day. Oh, I might need to have some water. Numero six a row. Tell me what it looks like. Is it beautiful? Well, I love it. Ooh! Spooky Sue's Halloween tree. Oh, and I really like the tag on that one. They're cute. Little Pac Man ghosts. That's what they make me think of anyway. I'm guessing this um, is Spooky Sue's. Um, she's got like a Victorian Christmas tree that she decorates with, I know, special shinies, but I know at Halloween she does, I haven't watched any of her vlogs yet because I'm a terrible human being, um, I'm very behind on Vlogtober, I'm a good week behind and I was staying clear of Suzanne's just because I don't want spoilers I know she's opening it every day and I'm opening it kind of every three, two to three days or oh, as and when I see fit because the other day where I like opened two and then didn't knit with them for like three days <laughs> so and then proceeded to, to knit with like four of them in one day so yeah, I like that. So it's like a natural white colour with um, yellow, a little bit of purple and orange, and a little bit of peach colour, I think. So hopefully it will look like a Halloween tree. Go see my cow. I've worked on that for a little bit today. But I think I, I get a little bit bored. Oh, look, it's just round and round. I say that, I'm just, I'm knitting round and round on a sock at the moment. 
but at least you've got the fun of the stripe on this and it's 13 rows um but this is it so far this colour kind of blends in and just makes it look like you've done a massive section of one colour which is kind of the point I suppose of this it's meant to be scrappy and interesting um this one with pumpkin picking I think that might be my favourite so far that was monster match that was the skeleton you see skeleton bone What's that one? I do quite like that one. That one was the trick or treat bucket, wasn't that? Sweetie bucket, even. But what's that one? It's Frankenstein y, isn't it? But I don't think it is. Frankenstein's monster. If you want to be technical about it. Oh, I'm never going to get the tag out on that. And my nugget, that was very sealed. That is, like, government-sealed information. And um, this is my main colour. Which is Frau Falborg. Falborg in the new Dawn colourway, just to prove that I don't knit exclusively with um, green lampion fibres. I've just noticed there's two price stickers stuck to it. I wonder if the price went up at one point. Honestly, Stephen and Penelope, you know, most people... Oh, it only went up by one euro. That's not so bad. I don't feel quite so, like, shocked by that. But still, most people peel off the old one. But it's really nice. I can see why I picked it. It's green. Um, you got to say more. This is why I kind of like the idea that it's going to be in this cow. It should go with things because of the green. I'm also a green, green and orange girl, so it should go for that reason. Monster Mash looks kind of underwatery and Christmassy at the same time. Just want you to know that. Pretty sure I stuck my finger in a slug. It was gross. I've washed my hands. I always wash my hands after dealing with the bin. Welcome back. I have returned.